Hello and welcome back to Dukas Copy TV. Now in a career you want to be successful, but is there anything stopping you from climbing the ladder? Today we're looking at baby boomers and we're also looking at Generation X and we're also looking at pension funds. Now where they all come in, we're going to be discussing this with my Brit Biscoff Bridges uh, of Guardian Wealth Management. She's in the studio today. Welcome to the studio, my Brit. Thank you. So let's just start. Um, the, we're looking at the uh, baby boomers and we're looking at Generation X. Now, at the moment, there is some clash, if you like, between those in the Generation X wanting to rise the ladder in, the, in their careers and the baby boomers stopping them, if you like. Uh, the baby boomers reaching their retirement. Uh, who is feeling the financial strain uh, of this demographic change and who are the forgotten generation, uh, generation X which we now hear about? Yes, the, um, the baby boomers, they should be moving into retirement now. They're reach reaching that point, but unfortunately they cannot move into retirement yet because society can simply not afford to have this whole generation moving into retirement because they're putting an enormous strain onto pension funds. Um, there's just not enough money in the pot. So what's happening is, is the strain is actually being moved on to the next generation, who are the generation who are in their 30s and 40s now. And this generation, who are called the, the forgotten generation X, are having trouble moving forward, moving their careers forward, because the baby boomers are holding on. So they cannot move into the more senior or the executive positions. Let's look at, um, how should we say, the, how they tackle this situation. So how, for instance, the, the baby boomers tackle it, how the forgotten generation X, as you call them, uh, tackle it. So you've got, on the one side, you've got perhaps what you would call risk takers um, who, who are motivated and they want to move up the corporate ladder. Some may jump into, say, a new business because they feel there's just absolutely no hope going up that ladder uh, because the baby boomers are stopping them at the top. So they go and create a new business. They try and start a new bu business and, and go it alone. Um, this, this, the second, uh, the second group which we were uh, talking about just there, just mentioned there, the, the those starting their own business. Um, why is the second group at such a disadvantage? Well, yes, there's there's one big clear definition between uh, the 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 generation X who are staying in the corporate uh, companies, uh, moving that direction, and then the ones who have been fed up with the corporate levels because they cannot move forward and, and having to move in and start yeah. their own business. So actually, ending up taking a lot of risk. Um, there's two very big differences between them. Obviously, the ones who are going in and, and starting their own businesses have no pension. So they have to take on that responsibility themselves and, and make an effort to build up their own pension pot. But the other level are also at high risk because the ones who are in the corporate businesses, because they cannot move up the ladder, are actually trying to move career-wise by moving from job to job. What this does is it creates many small pension pots. Um, so instead of having one long career throughout, you're creating these small pension pots, which when added up, add up to a much, much lower level than you would have if you had just managed to stay within the, within the same company. And because of this, we're, we're creating a massive uh, administrative burden, really, with this as well. Okay, so... It's getting tough, it's getting harder for the Generation X, this forgotten Generation X you, you're, you're telling me about. What, what are the solutions then? What, how can they safeguard then for the future? How, what is essentially the, the way out of this? I mean, pension funds are the political agenda of today. We see it, we've got riots happening everywhere, demonstrations in many, many European countries. Um, it's something that the governments are aware is a huge issue, but sort of doing a little bit this because it's still into the future, but it's something which is going to become a bigger and bigger issue as the years come on, c c come, up, come along. Um, governments also, they, they can no longer promise state pensions. So what's happening to this Generation X, who have always had to be very autonomous and be very independent, is they're having to take on that burden of protecting themselves for the future. Um, being in the financial planning 
industry, what we're seeing is, is that we're very rapidly having to develop new saving solutions for this generation because time is starting to run out. It takes 40 years to really build um, a savings pot that's going to be enough to live on. And now we're, we're starting to reduce that. We're seeing now, you know, 20, 30 years left until retirement. A lot of effort needs to go in, but this generation needs the flexibility as well and want to be in control more than any of the other generations have been. And therefore, having to take that burden on themselves, but being at a time in their lives where they simply cannot do it. Um, so the, the ideal is obviously to be able to put a little bit of aside every month, let that accumulate, have some compounding on that during the years so that when finally you do reach retirement that you've got a lump sum that ideally you can draw an annuity from, but at least something that can generate you an income. And this, this ideally can be set up, can be worked out with a financial planner who can set milestones and say, okay, at this level we need to be at this point. For retirement, how much would you need? How much do you want to have? What sort of lifestyle do you want to maintain? What do you need to start doing today to possibly reach that goal? And it's interesting because um, only maybe less than 10 years ago, uh, people would receive credit cards through their doors asking them to spend, 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 and how, how things have changed since the fi financial crisis. Absolutely. Uh, We're with, in a time of save, save, with save. With save, 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 exactly. <laughs> um, yes, well, it does, it does actually make you think what, uh, what can, the, what can my generation like my generation do in that respect, uh, and, and to put a bit of money aside is a, is a perfectly plausible concept. Um, and, uh, and yeah, very interesting. Um, uh, Mybrit, thank you very much for coming in today. Um, this is a very large topic we could talk about for ages and ages and ages. We don't have enough time at the moment, but thank you very much for coming in and speaking to me today and to us today. That's all we've got time uh, for on Duca's Copy for the moment. Of course, we'll be back later on uh, with further interviews and keep checking back for those exclusive updates as well, courtesy of our analysts. Uh, but until next time, goodbye.